original. This is yeah, they've got a gorgeous entrance. What she means, she's not sure you can do it. Can definitely do it all, but the carpet will be long. So this is the parking. Wow, okay. So we'll not do it from here, we'll do the walkway from just okay. here. And it's good that we're taking video so we can look back at everything good morning guys so i've just finished my meetings of the day for my nine to five um so it's taken a lot like i've put in mad hours like i'm so hands-on my dad's like why aren't you delegating why isn't your manager doing this i'm so hands-on because i have a standard that i want this business to be at and i know nobody's gonna work harder for my business than i am um but yeah this business needs to be making money and i have good news on that front so yesterday i told you guys that we were going for a meeting on the biggest schools in ibadan um yeah we booked three days we booked our 360 camera for three days at their um graduation ceremony it's definitely the biggest booking we've done so far i'm so happy um and we engaged with them about providing the decor for the um graduation for the three well, I'm, I'm only pitching for two days to be honest i think it'll be too much work to try and do three days so if we get that that will literally be the biggest like that would be groundbreaking because i've set myself goals and targets for like my first few months and just that one deal would like surpass the target i set for like all the deals for the month um so i'm so happy even if we don't get it just that like these doors are and opportunities are presenting themselves these doors are opening and how this meeting actually came about was when we took the 360 to my dad's um event center last week and i almost didn't want to go because i'd been working so hard that week i was tired i was drained and i was just like oh, i don't want to start carrying this machine about i don't want to move the team to a new location we might not get any customers and not only did we make our first bit of money that day um but you know some of the customers that used the machine that day worked at the school and they were like oh we want this at the event so i'm just grateful to god because i see him doing bits with having a lot more interest on um instagram as well people are coming to view the sense that people are noticing the signs i put out front just walking in and we booked the second booking as well actually so we've got a private birthday party tomorrow i think i told you guys about it but they hadn't paid they paid yesterday just sitting here seeing these things happening after just last week just feeling so dejected and just like really shitting myself that i had made the biggest cock up of my life now i feel like i've made a great decision i'm gonna say the best decision of my life yet yeah, a great decision but there's so much more hard work that's gonna to need to go into this you know we're still building still trying to create a reputation for ourselves so there's lots to do but um anyway still juggling the two jobs for now um yeah like it's going thank you guys so much for all the love and support and the encouragement on my videos recently i've seen it and i'm just hoping and praying that this risk you know all works out for the best but so far i'm feeling way more confident um so i'm going to the site soon we've got to finish our proposal for the school's decorations we're preparing a proposal for them i'm sending that to them today and then we've got to start prepping for tomorrow's birthday event <sighs> it's good to be busy for actual bookings <laughs> <laughs> So this is the setup for our party this afternoon. It's our second event of this week, our second week of being open. I'm very happy. I try and go above and beyond for each party. So um, this is kind of what they asked for, but we're giving them a separate setup. It's a 30 person kind of dinner. We're giving them a separate setup out here. So if they want to do like a bit of a photo shoot, and um, please help me put it exactly where it needs to be before we make it too heavy. 
This needs to be literally here. So I'm going to move the post literally there. So that's where it needs to be. So we're giving them a backdrop so they can take pictures. And this is just gifted for free. And I've also thrown in the champagne. This is all. Careful, are you okay? Oh, sorry. Help me push it back. You will not have to go to the back because of Oh, okay, branches. Okay, no problem. Okay, no problem. So, yep, that's what we've been doing. They're coming in about two hours. And then we also, you know, using this opportunity for advertising everything else that we do. So we've set up like a picnic. We're going to shoot some content for Instagram. But it's nice when the guests come in and they look at this and like, oh, wow. You do picnic setups, so you do other things. So we had quite a few inquiries after our Tuesday event for an anniversary party. So we just want to showcase to our potential guests everything else that we offer. So we've just got our purple and pink set up. I can't wait till my pagoda is a roof today. And yeah, it's pretty, no? She a pretty bitch. A little bit of a balloon garland. Love to see it. Hello, my darling. Can you take a picture of me? morning beautiful people um today is wednesday it is our third official week of being open and today is also the first day where i solely work for myself so yes there was my actual last day at my company infotrack um and i was there for just under two years i was a sales specialist of software sales specialist for one of our product lines and you know <laughs> i can't even say like it was sad like it's just awesome it's something i've always wanted to happen to just be like solely working for myself so i took the day off to just kind of embrace that and live in it live in the moment that like i kind of made all my dreams come true i only work for myself obviously with that comes like the pressures of i don't have my job to kind of like balance you know all the investments i've made into this business and it's like a safety blanket for like the fact that we don't have you know lots of money coming in but i just really felt like there's no point in going half into this business when i've put you know all my money into it there's no point in going like oh i'll give it 30 percent because i work full-time like i have a full-time job you know but I've put 100% of everything I own into this. It just didn't make sense. Like, so I'm putting all my time, all my energy, all my money into my business now. And I'm very happy, you know. Worst comes to worst, I can always get a job. I've got lots of experience. I've got lots of education. But for now, I just feel like this is what I need to be doing. And honestly, not even just for now, I'm not going back. Like, this business must be successful. <laughs> that's just it i think sometimes when you have a safety blanket you know you can kind of sub subconsciously rely on that i don't have that anymore like we need to fly <laughs> we i'm gonna jump out of the nest and a bitch must fly so yeah that's kind of the position i'm in i haven't gone into the office today because 
I'm just wanting to re relish that and live in it. Um, also a bit of drama, my manager resigned yesterday, two days ago. Um, not unexpected to be honest, like um, I saw it coming, I kind of maybe put it, him in a position where he had to. But, you know, I feel like it's the best decision for my business. Um, I haven't been very impressed with his performance since I've been in Nigeria. And it got to the point where I had to give him a warning. And for me, like, your first warning is your final warning. I'm sorry. That's just, no. I had to give him a warning um, last week. This week. Last week. You know, just sit down with him and be like, look, your performance not happy with it i pay you a lot of money like when i told my brother how much i pay him he was like that's three people's salary that's a manager's salary that's a supervisor's salary and that's just like a basic like i pay him a lot of money and since i've been in the country i just haven't seen the value for that money you know when i wasn't around and it was only him that i could depend on i felt like i was getting good value since i've been here like he comes and goes as he pleases the size of days he wants to work and the days he doesn't want to work he'll be on his phone a lot when i'm asking people to do things i'm just like do you know what you know i might be nice you know but a bitch ain't soft like don't take the piss you would never try things like this you know if you work for my dad and that like i gave him that warning and after i gave him that warning he had three more incidents in the next five days that really pissed me off one of them you know impacted my business and the level of service i wanted to deliver so i just sat down and I'm like look i'm sorry you can't manage my property anymore and the, the other one was a security breach he left my storerooms unlocked for a whole weekend he forgot to lock them up you know my security guards calling me saying like i just came back the doors are all open luckily nothing's been taken the security latches aren't broken so he thinks the manager must have just forgotten to lock it and like just hearing the doors were open the panic that struck me and i'm just like oh i know you ain't gonna put at risk everything i have worked for <laughs> oh my money you're not gonna put that at risk you know and that was just like for me that was a final straw i was just like look you're not ready for the responsibility i've given you you can't be my manager i will manage you know the locking up and opening up the store and things like that um and i offered him like i wanted to fire him i've been wanting to fire him actually like for a few weeks i'm never gonna lie but i just kind of had that thought in my mind like we started this together he was like the rock that i depended on when i was in the uk so i did want to kind of show him some leniency and not fire him straight away even though he'd done several breaches after the warning i gave him so i just said okay look you can't be my manager that's for sure hand back your keys but i will offer you a supervisor position still a lot of money you know but a, a salary cut quite a big one um and at the time he was like yes yes you know giving excuses but he was like he'll take it i was like no don't just say you'll take it go home think about it you know and if you still want to take the position by this evening just let me know he went home evening time he resigned <laughs> so you know i think a lot of it is pride um because for sure i don't know if i ever said this i think i did but um how i found my manager is he was my uber driver or my um, what they call it bolt driver um you know and he'd had like education he'd had some experience in the past and i thought you know what give it a go he was always very helpful when i needed things done he would always like offer to help but you know even as a supervisor i know i'm paying you more than what you were earning before but you know if that's what you prefer that's what you prefer and honestly i don't think the business is really gonna suffer i'm sorry to say it but like I expect my manager to be adding value, you know, to what I do. There's nothing you're doing that I can't do. And the basic things I'm entrusting you with, you're fucking up. So yeah, that's another thing that happened. Um, that happened this week, that happened two days ago. So now we're a team of five, you know, and that's okay. We're going to keep growing. Um, I'm looking at hiring, actually I'm hiring another security person at the end of the month just because I was so nervous about the security breach. Um, and I'm looking to hire another person as well. So it could be a team of seven by the end of the month. 
um but yeah just still working um we don't have any events this week which is kind of sad after you know we had two events last week but it's also okay because we've had so many inquiries like the word has really gotten out there that we are here like the garden's here like the amount of people in my dms um and i know people love the work that we've been producing and like i've got a very um strong social media background and i'm using that to full advantage posting lots lots of reels showcasing even if we don't have events showcasing the stuff we're practicing the stuff we're doing because you know we are still just three weeks in i never like blown a balloon <laughs> but like a balloon garland you know before this month and now like i'd say i'm a pretty good expert by nigerian standards certainly so <clears throat> yeah lots going on at the garden but today's my day off I got slapped. To tell you, doing business in this country is wild. Like everybody's a cowboy. I got slapped with a nine hundred thousand naira bill, which is like the equivalent to like a thousand three hundred, a thousand four hundred pounds. Like just that, and it's not even like that's a lot of money here. That's a lot of money here. And when I'm like already not having a penny <laughs> i was just like where do you want me to get that money from and um it turned out that you know the landlady that i'm renting my building from she's been defaulting for years and they gave me seven days to pay that bill or they lock up everything um luckily I spoke to my dad he knows the commissioner of the whole department so lucky <laughs> to pay like a hundred thousand of their you know and tell us what you need to know to find that woman and we'll go after her so today i'm making that payment writing a letter about the woman but oh the dramas the dramas the dramas your good sis is trying to get her ass to lay us like i haven't been cute in god knows how long like now that i don't have my nine to five anymore i feel like i can really focus on myself not every day you know natural hair i'm trying to get some braids done so i'm looking for a hairdresser that can do braids haven't been to the gym or worked out in months I was even before I moved to be honest but you know <laughs> going for a walk now got my trainers on um so I'm really gonna try and look after myself and I'm trying to make friends and just meet new people and just flow in type of circle that like like-minded people and like pocket people <laughs> I don't want to have friends that like expect me to pay for everything so I feel like I've got a better chance of that happening in Lagos but for the moment, your sis doesn't have Lagos money. I think I got a message today that said that like my second batch of goods, not nowhere near as big as what I ordered the first time, has arrived from China. This time I had it flown in because I wanted it faster. And I'm just trying to figure out how to pay these people. Because <laughs> it's easy to order. <laughs> it's a whole nother matter when you have to pay. <laughs> so... But I'm excited to have those items because, you know, I think it will just up our game. And I really realised that, like, when I had this division, my idea was that the garden would be all about intimate um, events. And that's, like, 250 people or less. And then since I got here, everybody's talking about lavish, huge weddings. And I got caught up in that, like, pitching for lavish. Like, that, I think I might have told you guys about that lavish event that was 1,500 people. I just realised that that's not really... Where, I mean, if they give me the contract, I'll say yes and I'll do it. But that's just not where I want to be. I don't want that kind of stress. And I feel like we've got a better niche in the more intimate gatherings that's kind of what we've prepared ourselves for and that's where i want to be so anyway i've been rambling on and on i feel like this is a whole vlog all by its damn self i think i will just make it a like an update vlog but yeah i'm going to my dad's place now to get that letter letter written and pay the bill which is so annoying like i hate getting unexpected bills and i just feel like they just keep coming they just bloody keep coming why Okay, and I'm going to go for a walk. And I'm thinking to maybe surprise the girls. They're working today. Um, they're creating some looks. I sent them images of things I wanted them to try and recreate for me. I'm thinking to go and surprise them. Not because I'm checking up on them. Because, like, I know I've got two hard-working girls on my team. You know, I know they're going to work hard. Um, but because 
I want to photograph their work so they haven't got very good cameras on their phones I just think there's no point in them working all day creating the pieces that I asked for which are going to look really nice and then not getting evidence of it something to post on Instagram so if my dad's car is available I'll just do a quick stop by but also yesterday we had our first photo shoot at the garden which is something I thought about like niching into before hadn't done any promotion work at all for it so it was really nice to get a DM saying hi we'd like to use your location like literally within two days like they messaged me they came to view the place the next day the day after that they did the photo shoot it was so easy um so yeah the place is open and available for photo shoots um so yeah that was really nice to get a surprise booking and you know multiple streams of income but really multiple avenues of income you know so we will eventually open the lounge we've got our decoration we've got the venue hire we've got the decoration rental we've also got the photo shoots um aspect as well so there's a lot of opportunity with this business and I'm here for it. Alright guys, I'll catch you in a bit.